Hi, I've been working on cars and motorcycles since I was eight. And I've been working on cars since he was in diapers. We're here at the Deco Tech Center and ready to share some basic belt tips to help make installation easier. Belts have come a long way from the days of neoprene compounds. Today's belts are made from a hardier material, ethylene propylene DN monomer, more commonly known as EPDM. These belts can handle higher temperatures, last longer, and are designed for newer OE drive systems, which include higher loads and smaller pulleys. The expectation is that they'll run without noise for a longer time at a wider temperature extreme. But the truth is they still need proper maintenance and replacement. So regardless whether you're installing a neoprene or EPDM, here are five basic pieces of advice. Our first tip, check belts around 60,000 miles. Many vehicles are overdue for a belt change, a simple maintenance routine that can leave a driver stranded if ignored. Most belts need to be replaced around 85,000 miles, so conduct a good inspection well before then. Certain circumstances, like long idle times or extreme operating environments, can accelerate wear. Tip two, look closely for belt wear. A new belt has ribs in the shape of a V. The ribs on a worn belt look more like a U, which means less material is in contact with the pulley. Use Deco's awareness gauge to check the per rib profile. You should also use this tool to check for wear or cracks. Our third tip is to check for noise. There are two types of noise from a belt, and neither one is music to your ears. The chirp is due to misalignment, and the squeal is due to slip. The chirp makes a series of sharp, intermittent, rhythmic sounds. As the belt speed increases, the pitch and volume stay constant. There's a few reasons for this. First, misalignment. Or it could be due to improper installation, worn ribs, or worn pulley bearings. A squeal is high-pitched, lasts several seconds, and may change in volume, but not in pitch. Possible reasons include an overstretched belt, a worn-out tensioner, or bearings that are failing. For the fourth tip, let's talk misalignment. It's a big issue for belts. Always use a laser alignment tool to check your belt. An axial or angular line may cause a noise. Our final tip is about tension and replacing the right components. When a belt loses tension, it can result in slipping, belt glazing, overheating, and insufficient RPM of drive accessories. Replace the belt with a proper OEM equivalent belt whether it's a poly V belt or an Ella belt, and always replace the belt drive components like a pulley and tensioner at the same time.